second of the night. He's got it. Denver B can't convert. Larson, the boot, finds the back of the net. We are tied up at three. And the pitch to the outside. Runs and trying to bust through the hole. He gets it. That more down. Trying to bust through the hole. Folks, welcome to Wednesday Night Soccer right here on the Lancer Sports Network. Jack Buck and beyond the camera, I'm Javik Blake. We have the Norton Lancers squaring off against the Barrington Eagles, the Rhode Island 2016 state champions, right here on LSN here on a Wednesday night. It's a warm Wednesday night, and the Lancers, going with the warm weather, they've been in a huge hot streak. 3-0-0 on the year, scoring 10 goals and conceding only one en route to being in the top spot in the TVL with six points. The Barrington Eagles come into this game at a 2-0-1 record. They're 1-0-1 in the Division I of Rhode Island soccer, the top flight division down there. Now the Lancers, after a season last year that was very disappointing, they went out in the first round of the playoffs to Martha's Vineyard in a heartbreaking loss. In fact, they've gotten off to a great start here thanks to their senior leadership, but none other than Robbie Bukowski and Nett, who has been on fire here early, only conceding one goal out of the 22 saves you've had to make here early in the season. So it'll be the storyline tonight will be if the Lancers can continue their hot streak thanks to their senior leadership. They have Sean Murphy and Ian Pereira up top, Eamon Degbor, the human FIFA player, in the back line. It's almost like the kid is a human FIFA controller. The moves you'll see tonight from this kid are absolutely crazy. He's the player to watch tonight, as well as other cameos. Sean Murphy, Kyle Houlihan has been playing great these past few games, as well as, well as Will and Jack O'Brien. They've been playing great, pitching with some assists. And for Barrington on the other side, Nolan Nick Rockwell will be a man to watch on the other side of the pitch for Barrington. He's leading their way. He's a young kid, only a sophomore, but he already has two goals here in this early young season. So it's setting up to be a fantastic matchup here tonight, here under the floodlights at Robert Adams Stadium. Jack bugging me on the camera. I'm Javik Blake. We have your stats and your starting lineups all coming up next, as well as kickoff right here on the Lancer Sports Network. Welcome back, folks, to Norton High School, home of the Norton Lancers, where tonight we'll see the Norton Lancers going up against the Barrington Eagles once again here on Lancer Sports Network's Wednesday Night Soccer. I'm Javik Blake. Doing the camera tonight is Jack Bucking up on top. The Lancers, we said before, coming to this game 3-0-0. They're head coached by Eric Green, assisted by Steve Hughes, and their team manager is Pat Bingle. On the other side of things, the Barrington Eagles, their head coach, John Denham, who's assisted by Jose da Costa and Alex Pancheco. Both teams have been in the playoffs the last two years. Barrington, as we said before, the D1 state champs last year. 2015, they made it to the D1 quarterfinals where they lost to South Kingston. The Lancers, 2015 state champs, 2016, as we said before, they lost to Martha's Vineyard in the first round in a heart-breaking game. So tonight we'll highlight the starting goalie tonight first for the Barrington Eagles in net will be Emmanuel Despines, who is 1-0 and 1 on the year, 5 for 5 in save opportunities, one goal allowed and one shutout coming in the last game as Barrington beat East Greenwich for zip. And that was last night, the 12th of September. And the Lancers in net tonight will be Robbie Bukowski, the senior goaltender, who's 3-0-0 on the year, who is 19 of 20 on save opportunities, one goal allowed, and two shutouts, who has not allowed a goal in the last, a, in the last 160 minutes. His last goal allowed was on the 7th of September against Bellingham, in which Norton won handedly 7-1. Last two games, Lancers have beaten Holliston 1-zip and Ashland 2-0. 
So Barrington, their first three games of the season, they beat Xavier 2-0, It was a team out of Connecticut, so it's the second out-of-state game for Barrington this season. And they are 1-0 and have not conceded a goal. Barrington then tied Cumberland 1-1 and beat East Greenwich, as we said before, for nothing. So up front tonight, it'll look to be Alex Senich and Jacob Soares up front. Senich leading the way in the team in points with three points on the year. Point leader on the other side for the Lancers is Sean Murphy, who's leading the team in every scoring category. Three goals, two assists, five points. He'll be the man to look for on top for the Lancers, along with Ian Pereira and a combination of either Zach Lerner Tony, or Tony Searcy. The back line will be anchored by Eben Degbor, as always, and the final line of defense, Robbie Bukowski. So we'll come back. We're just a few moments away from kickoff here on LSN's Wednesday Night Soccer. We'll be right back with the kickoff right after this. Welcome back to Robert Adams Field. A beautiful rendition of the National Anthem done by Allison Russell and Caroline Blakely as well as a beautiful job doing the starting lineups by Norton's own Matt Cobb. So we get ready here for kickoff here on a glorious Wednesday night here in New England. Game time temperature tonight, 71 degrees. And not a cloud in the sky as we get ready to kick it off here on Wednesday night soccer. So Barrington wearing the blue unis, blue shorts, blue socks with the yellow trim going right to left on your screen. The Lancers decked out in all white going from left to right. Eric Green since 2015 for the Lancers, 39-7-2, looking to get his 40th win in the past three years as the Lancers led out by their three captains, Eben Degbor, Sean Murphy, and Ian Pereira. And the captains for the Barrington Eagles, Tim Nolan, Aiden Gasbaro, Andrew Mara, and Devin Connors. We'll play two 40-minute halves here tonight. As even Degbor getting his team ready in a huddle. So we're getting ready to go here. And it's Ian Pereira in the center. Brian Sullivan, Kyle Houlihan, Tony Searcy, and Sean Murphy. Making up the front line, and he kicks it back, and we're underway here. 2017 and 2017-18 on the Lancers Sports Network is off. This one will be passed up to O'Brien. Brian tried to feed it to Houlihan. It didn't work. Now it'll be Sean Murphy. Over to Miller. That one gets taken away by Tyler Child. And a whistle there and a foul. And a free kick for Barrington. It'll be number nine, Owen Gordon, the senior, to do the kick. Lancers have the numbers back deep. Here early in the first half. This one shot on in towards Bukowski. And that'll just be one bounce and he'll grab it. So the first save of the night for him taken with ease. As he'll now sky this one out and the Lancers will try to get the offense going. This one back to Degbor. Tried to pitch it over to Sullivan instead finds a defender and the Lancers trying to bring it up. That one will go out off of Aiden Lerner and Barrington throws it right back in. Degbor has it, and they'll call a foul on Barrington. So Degbor runs up, shoots this one onward into the Lancers' attacking half. Murphy has it. Back to Sullivan. Sullivan pitches this one in, blocked by Jurgleet. This one off of Searcy. He can't get it after a fight with Aiden Doyle for it. Rockwell passes it back. Now it'll be Degbor. 
It's a nifty move to get it up. And pitches it onward. Out. And they throw in for the Lancers off of Sam Jurgle, the senior defender. It'll be Brian Sullivan over to Murphy. Murphy can't control it. And now it'll be taken up by Josh Ledman. Over to Manlove. And pitches this one up. Taken by Nolan. Keeps on pushing. The lone captain who is not a defender. And it looks like they'll call for a corner here and running out to take it. Oliver Manlove. They have Doyle on for support. And Doyle will actually be the one to take it. And this one, the corner. Shot up in front of the net. Out off of, they say, Bukowski. And it'll be a Barrington kick. Here in the fourth minute, tied at nil-nil. One kicks it just outside the 18 into the box. And that one will go out again. And the Lancers will have a goal kick. This one kicked up from Bukowski. And knocked away by Devin Connors. And the Lancers will have an opportunity to move it up. So a big thing for the Lancers this year is they return both their starting strikers from last year and Ian Pereira and Sean Murphy. And they've done a great job. They've combined for eight points this year. That's more than the rest of the team combined. So this one thrown into Brian Sullivan. Back to Degbor. The nifty move to bring it up. Splits the defenders. And will Pitch it over to Miller. Miller tries to feed it back to Degbor, and that won't work. Kept in by Doyle. Doyle with Tony Searcy behind him. And they'll call it out on Zach Miller. Jurgolit, the long throwing. Kicked out, and Searcy has it. Searcy over to Pereira. One touch and feeds it up. Now... It's Murphy who has it, but it's kicked out. And cleared for a free kick by Joshua Ledman. This one thrown into Pereira. A nifty move there to try to get it inside the box. Has to stay outside the cross. Off of a defender, and it'll be the Lancer throw. Here in the sixth minute, nil-nil. Pereira has it. A good move, gets inside the 18. Has to go up against three defenders. But manages to keep the ball in, and the Lancers still have a corner. That's off of Aiden Doyle. The midfielder all the way back. So it'll be Sean Murphy. And a timeout there as Harry Brown was tying his shoe. So Murphy crosses this one on the ground. So. And a boot from Zach Miller, just off target. The shot's tied at one here early. So Emmanuel Despines will be the one to kick this one out. Back to Sullivan, who heads it forward to Cersei. Cersei tries to get something moving, but it doesn't work. Shot by Will O'Brien, and Miller has it. Miller passes it up to O'Brien. Leads it on to Pereira, but off the mark. So we'll go all the way back. And it's Ben Pescod that kicks it out. So it'll be Sullivan. And he kicks this one out. They say it did not go off the defender, Aiden Doyle, and it'll be a throw in for Sam Jurgoit. Oh, 
It'll be Connors. Kicks this one back and forward again. Sullivan has it. Feeds it to the outside. Now it's Houlihan with it. Charging up the zone. Chips this one on. Murphy will charge after it. He'll get it. The cross doesn't work. It'll be Owen Gordon who kicks this one up. It'll be Dagbort. Pushing here over to Murphy. And slides into this one. And they'll give a free kick to Barrington. And Barrington coach Dom Denham chatting some words of encouragement to his players, telling him they were able to make moves. The Lancers are diving in for their for their opposition. Barrington, one move, could be able to get right out of the way with that. Pereira. Be able to move this one up. Taken away by Manlove. Manlove, lots of touches here tonight. And that one out. Tended for Sam Jurgle, but it just missed his foot. Cersei has it. Some nifty passing by the Lancers. This one down to Pereira. Doesn't work, and it gets kicked out by Sam Jurgle. Zach Miller has it. Pass it back to Degbor up top. And that's a turnover. Nick Rockwell able to jarring that one free. He has this one. Kicks it back. Now forward again. It's Rockwell. This one a good move. By Doyle, leaving it for his attacking man. Mara looking for a free kick type situation. The Lancers weren't even pressing. This one now into the 18. The shot. That one far away, but they're going to need him again. Miller with the huge block. It's now Tony Searcy. Over to Murphy. Murphy over to Pereira. Now back again. Cersei ends up on the pitch. No foul called. Man love. Over to the middle now. And back towards the half line. Here in the 11th minute tie. Nil nil. And this one up right on the touchline, it's hugging it. Uh, this one will be kicked back out. And a big boot into the zone. And offsides called here. Bukowski will kick this one past midfield. It will be O'Brien. Back to Lerner and out. Now it will be a throw in for Doyle. Barrington, a very attack first team. And a foul called there. The Lancers stacking their defenders right at the 18. They have three of them, four of them at the top of your screen. And this one shot on into Bukowski. An easy grab for him. So Barrington, three shots in the night. Two of them have been on target here in the 12th minute. Pereira heads this one back. Will O'Brien, the, the sophomore, will bring it up. This one a run on to Murphy. He's got a chance. Cross it to the middle. Pereira off the post, off the crossbar and out. What an opportunity.
Half an inch lower, and we're looking at a 1 0 Lancer lead. Instead, we sit at 0 0. This one to Sullivan now. Over to Lerner. Even, per, even Degbor crosses this one in. Pereira can't get ahead on it, and we'll have a whistle. Pereira not happy with that one. He was called for offsides, but the ref standing near the midline. A little bit far out to make the call. As Coach Green said, he made the right call. Nothing, not a good argument there. This one will be kicked in. We Cersei. Turns this one away, but kicked out by Andrew Mara. And a substitution. As it'll be DJ Eno coming in for Tony Cersei. Sullivan, back to Lerner. Puts this one forward and down to Eno, but they'll call a free kick for Norton here. Just outside the 18, Sean Murphy will do it. Looking for his third assist of the year. Actually, crowd five men here. We've seen this before. We saw it in the Lancer State Championship run back in 2015. They used us a whole lot in the playoffs. The ref will blow a whistle, and here we go. And they open it up. The shot. That one misses high. A great opportunity created by the Lancer off by the Lancer forwards. And Sh Sean Murphy just missing the net. Here in the 15th minute, the Lancers have had two fantastic opportunities and only one shot on target to show for it. Their set pieces tonight have been absolutely excellent. A no call here as this one opens up an opportunity. And the ref blowing his whistle here. And they'll give a yellow to even Degbor. And a yellow to Degbor here in the 16th minute. Opens up a great opportunity for Barrington. They're about five yards out from the 18 here. A 23-yard free kick. Bukowski back in his own net. Lancers have a wall of five to block this one. It'll be Rockwell. And it looks like, not sure who's taking it, but right off the wall. Great opportunity. Aiden Doyle was the one who kicked that. And now it's Murphy. Down the pitch. It's Pereira who can't get it as Despines kicks it right out. A fantastic play by the Lancer Wall. Doyle didn't get enough loft under it, and he got nailed. He nailed it right into the wall. And it'll be Kyle Houlihan to make the throw. Pereira has it. Back to Houlihan. Houlihan fighting through some defenders will get a foul. And it'll be Pereira to take it. His set, his corner, 
Three kicks have been absolutely outstanding tonight. We'll see if he can continue it here. From about 35 yards out. This one crossed in. Sullivan can't get it. It looks like it was maybe number 10, Gigi Inu, who got a foot on it and sent it on towards net. The Spines and the Rhode Island State Champs will bring it downfield. Degbor. With a good move, breaking through three defenders here to bring it up. Pitches it forward to Jack O'Brien. That'll be Doyle. Brown has it, kicks it back. Owen Gordon has it. Tim Nolan. Can't get it through in the lane, so pass it back. Here they come, and Zach Miller right there to take it away. A poor pass from the Barrington forwards. Now it'll be Eno. Pitched it up. Murphy can't get a foot on it, though, and they'll continue. Here comes Pereira from deep on the ground, scooped up by Despines. And two subs looking to come in for Barrington here. It looks like it'll be Christian on ejection and Alex Senich. Getting warmed up here. In high school soccer, there is no substitution limit, so both teams free to substitute as many times as they want. Unlike in professional soccer, where three is the limit. So O'Brien kicks it up. Pereira can't get a run going from it. And this one will be kicked back. Degbor has it. Even will bring it up. Up to Sullivan. And he can't get anything moving. Degbor coming all the way up for this. And kept in there by the Barrington Eagles. So Brown kicks it back. Looks like it'll also be Zach Lerner, the sophomore forward, coming in for the Lancers. The next substitution offsides is called. We're in the 20th minute of play here, halfway through the first half. We're tied at nil-nil. It's been a very good defensive matchup. The Lancers have come so close to a goal. Twice. One on a post early on. The seventh minute from Ian Pereira. The other one, a one that just missed wide by Sean Murphy a little later on. Both on set pieces. If you watch Norton Soccer anywhere in the last two years, you know that set pieces for the Lancers have been an absolute staple of Coach Green's offensive plans. So the Lance, the Barrington Eagles have a throw here. Taking a little bit of time off the clock here. So this one thrown in. The Lancers trying to bring it up. Degbor has it. We'll kick this one up and out of play for an Eagles throw. one fired on from Sullivan off of him and this one won't work as well the Lancers here they go Miller has it and it's kicked away 
It's been back and forth, possession around even for both teams here. Pereira over to Sullivan, is able to pitch it up. And now the four substitutes will be coming on from Barrington. Almost a third of their starting 11 will be subbed out next whistle. And here they come. Here in the 22nd minute, nil-nil the score here in the first half. And we Espines for the kick, one of the 15 players that has returned from last year's state championship winning squad. 15 players returned, 12 seniors and three underclassmen were all part of the team that went all the way to the state championship with a 14-4-2 record last year and ended up winning the Division I title. Their entire back line is returning as well. Devin Connors, Andrew Mara, Tim Gasbaro, and Sam Jergalit, the staples in the back line. So Barrington has this one around midfield. Try to advance it up the pitch here, and with a big kick they do, but this one right to Bukowski will scoop it up. And Pereira with a huge shot, misses the opportunity again. Offsides is called. The offsides count rising for the Lancers as they just barely missed a goal. So it'll be Despines, who is nine for nine on saves this year, hasn't allowed one behind him all season long. It'll be Luis Bichetti passing it over, and this one downfield. Shiato trying to get it, can't get it. Cool hand coming back in for Warner here, or Cersei coming back in. For Lerner here in the forward spot. And the throw by Miller. Sullivan back to Lerner. He'll push this one up. And this one upfield and the Lancers can't get it going. It'll be O'Brien, Pereira down to Cersei. Cersei can't get it as this one goes out. A throw and a long one here. This one headed out. And a good clearing header by the Eagles. Zach Miller with a great clearance. That's this one thrown in. <laughs> Little confusion as Miller almost crashes into Tony Cersei. So this one will come up. Back to Houlihan. Pushes it forward to Sullivan. Who pitches this one to Pereira. And offsides called one more time. I actually call this one out. Off the of prayer, said he went over the touch line. So it'll be Houlihan. Degbor has it. Some great moves on the back line. He's able to bring it up a little farther. He's beaten six guys so far. We're going to beat a little more and passes it up. Back to Degbor. Pitches this one up front. And Pereira just misses it. Here in the 26th minute. Still tied nil-nil.
Dagbor has it. Over to Jacob Soares. My apologies. It's over to Ben Pescott. And this one will be up to Shioto. As the Eagles able to take it away. Pereira. The O'Brien. Will O'Brien has it back. Puts this one forward. And Pereira can't get it. It'll be Bichetti. And this one will come back. Pitched up, and it looks like DJ Eno will make a run for it as that one's kicked out, and the Lanchers will keep possession. Eno will have the throw. It's Pereira. Tries to keep it. Sullivan trying to make a move, can't get it. And it's Jack O'Brien on the ground, able to make a move and keep it in play for the Lancers. This one cleared out. And the turf. What, it's claiming its first victim of the night, and it's Alex Senich. DJ Eno. And it'll be Degbor and Ben Pescott to run this one back. This one will be kicked up. It's Houlihan now. Kicking this one forward. And he does to Tony Searcy, but he's not able to push it up anymore. Sullivan has it. Pitches this one up to Pereira, who's streaking ahead, and this one goes out. And this one will be a throw in the 29th minute here in the first half. A very defensive first half. Not a lot going on. The shot so far, 6-4 to four in favor of the Lancers. Shots on target, 4-2. to two. So Not a whole lot of offense here early. We still got a long ways to go. 50 minutes left of action. It'll be Pereira who has it. Trying to find a breakthrough. Pereira has it. Turns around in the box with it, looking for a cross to Cersei. Off of a defender and out of play. Pereira to Murphy. Murphy can't get it. This one from out deep. The field goal's good, and the shot is off target. An absolute boot from outside the 18. And that works to no avail. Went through the uprights. It was about two days early for the field goal. The answers will be at home Friday night. In their first home game of the year. Right here at Robert Adams Field under the lights. Ten minutes left in the first half as we're in the 31st minute. It'll be Zach Miller who has it. Pushes this one up. And that one's taken away by Luis Pachetti, but now it's taken back up. Miller playing it forward, and it doesn't work. It goes out off of a Barrington defender. Let's be number four, Cooper Chieto. And it'll be Pereira. And this one kicked out. It'll be Alex Senich. Hulhan racing up for this one. And pitches it back. Dagbor has it. And this one will go out. And a Norton throw. O'Brien over to Miller on the back end. Tries to find O'Brien once again, doesn't work. Now to be Will O'Brien. Pitches this one down, Pereira racing after it, and it's kicked out, and the Lance will have a throw. 
This one quickly back in. Cersei to Pereira. Pereira works through some defenders, fighting through the defense. Tries to push it in front of the net, can't get it to work. Back out to Degbor. Sullivan has it. And a whistle blown. And it'll be Barrington with a kick. In the 33rd minute, seven minutes to go in the half. Tied nil-nil. Coming up at the half, folks, we'll have the Ellison halftime report. We'll recap the first half and look ahead to the second half. It's all coming up at the 40-minute mark right here on LSN. Stay tuned as this one kicked in and seen easily by Bukowski. This one kicked on towards net and easily saved by Emmanuel Despinas. We Christian Ajakin. Back and forward again to Senich. Degbor pushed it forward to Pereira. Pereira has it. Can't get it, and it'll be Barrington. But Degbor with a great sliding tackle. Sedich now has it. This one will be taken by Pascod Miller. Pushes it up, but can't get it to work. I jack it. Back up front. Miller able to clear it out to Cersei. And it's Jack O'Brien, and body's all over the field, and we get a whistle for a free kick. Here in the 34th minute, nil-nil is the scoreline. We will O'Brien kicking this one forward, and this one's booted on deep. All the way down to Houlihan. We're going to get something going. He doesn't. It's Pereira now. Outside the 18, the shot. And a foul called as that shot goes off target. Doesn't count though. And this one will be kicked up here. And a fantastic header by Jack O'Brien. As it's Cersei. He'll bring it up now. Able to bring it up to Murphy, making moves in the 18, the shot just misses. And the Lancers, poor luck continues. Three fantastic opportunities, and all of them have gone just a bit too far left. This one up forward, Sullivan. Over to Murphy and forward. Trying to find Pereira, doesn't work. Now be on Jackin. Passes this one over. Lancers have the numbers on the back line here, four on two. It'll be Bichetti and a great play by Miller. Thirty-sixth, about to be the thirty-seventh minute here. Will be Cersei bringing this one up. Pereira on the run. He'll be able to make it inside the eighteen now. With the other foot, and this one just left. Three. 
three minutes left in the half. It's the only thing that's going in the referee's book is a yellow card for even Dagbord at the 16 minute mark. So this one will be kicked up. Headed on straight up. And now it'll be Barrington who comes down with it. It'll be Tony Searcy. Pitches this one forward to Pereira. He's got a chance inside the 18. The shot! Despines hugging this one. So close to a breakthrough for the Lancers. The O'Brien connection. And a tackle by him and we'll get a whistle. A foul here. And it'll be Cooper Sciano to throw this one in. And the free kick here. This one kicked on in, out of reach, and this one will be caught by Bukowski. Less than two minutes to go in the half run referee's time here in the 39th minute. Lancers looking for a breakthrough here late in the first half. It'll be Sullivan kicking this one up to Pereira. He'll keep it moving, trying to get it inside the 18. And this one is to Murphy off his foot. And they can't get it to work because this one's cleared out. So Norton has it. They'll try to push it in. And that one doesn't work. It'll go out. And whistle's blown here. And there'll now be a warning on number 24, Devin Connors. Here in the final middle of play here in the first half. Tied nil-nil, but the Lancers are threatening here. Sully with a huge kick that goes off a defender. Bullahan fighting for space. Cersei has it. Kicks this one on in. And this one up the shot. Misses wide. Sean Murphy just misses that one. We're into stoppage time now. A kick from Despines. The ref not checking his watch yet. As this one will go out. And no handball called there on Alex Senich. An interesting call. As this one, Pereira, he'll get this one up. He'll try to feed it inside the 18. And it doesn't work, that'll go out and they'll say it's a Lancer throw. And it looks like they'll call this one the end of the half. So we'll call this at the end of the half here. The score nil nil at the end of the first. So we got 40 minutes more of action left to go as it's tied 0 0. The LSN halftime report coming up next, and we'll be right back with all the action from Robert Adams Field right here on the Lancer Sports Network.
Hello folks, welcome to the Ellison Halftime Report. I'm Jay Blake, Jack Bucking behind the camera. We're tied nil-nil here tonight in a very defensive first half. And if you liked offensive 7-6 soccer games, folks, I'm sorry. The Lancers did a great job defensively. Even Degbor was running up and down the field, back and forth. Almost, he was a, technically the Bobby Orr of this team so far in the first half. He was doing a great job in the back end of the defense, but was able to come up, pass some great balls to Ian Pereira and Sean Murphy. And the story of the first half for the Lancers, wide left. That's been the story of the whole first half. They missed wide left three different times, and Pereira, the closest coming to a goal tonight, who just hit the crossbar. Degbor picking up the only booking of the first half, a yellow card in the 16th minute, and since then we haven't had a goal or any other cards. So at the end of the first half, the stats, the Lancers, 11 shots, six of them on target. Barrington, six shots. All four have been saved by Robbie Bukowski, bringing his save total up to 25 on the season. So in the second half, I'll look for Coach Green. Just make some adjustments. They've been playing fundamentally sound soccer. Just a little more chances and hopefully just tilt, tilt the foot a little bit to the right and get that one goal in. That's all they will need as they've been fantastic. And barring something horrible, Robbie Bukowski's done a fantastic job in net. One goal, two goals. Should probably seal the deal. So Jack Buck is behind the camera. I'm Jay Blake. We'll have the second half coming up next right here on LSN. Hello, folks. Welcome back to the second half here on the Lancers Sports Network. Barrington Eagles, Norton Lancers, Wednesday Night Soccer. And we'll see what halftime adjustments Coach Green made in the, lock, in the uh, locker room here as we'll get it going. And it'll be Owen Gordon kicking it back, and here we go. Murphy has Pereira. He's already got it. The shot, goal! 13 seconds into the half. Ian Pereira scores it, and it's 1-0. Holy Toledo! Setting records is Ian Pereira. Pereira in the 41st from Sean Murphy makes it one zip. And just like 13 seconds ago, Barrington will kick this one. An absolute scorcher from Ian Pereira to put the Lancers up 1-0 here. It's his third goal of the year, tying Sean Murphy for a team high. It's Murphy's third assist and his sixth point of the year. This one, Sullivan kicks it up. And a foul called, and it'll be Barrington's ball. So Barrington will set this one down and get a free kick, trying to find an equalizer. Hear that just a moment ago. Ian Pereira shot a ball. I will say 130 miles an hour in the back of the net. This one taken up. Barrington, the shot wide left. And the curse of the right side of the field continues. Now an interesting thing in Rhode Island, unlike in Massachusetts where what division you are is based by size of the school, in Rhode Island, it's based on how good of you, much like the Premier League. There's Division One, Two, and Three. Division One is the Premier would be the Premier League. Division Two, the EFL Championship, and Division Three, the EFL League One. So the Barrington has a school of about a thousand kids. Ended up winning the Division One State Championship, which means they're the best team in all of Rhode Island. And now it's Cersei. Bringing this one up. The cross can't find Sully on the far end. And that one will bounce out. 
A fantastic crowd on hand here, full of Norton supporters here tonight. Ticket sales, I heard, were through the roof as soon as this game was announced. I believe they sold out in less than five minutes. And the Lance Faithful has shown up tonight. It'll be Andrew Morrow, the captain, to shoot this one with a 1-0 score. Degbor has it. Pushes this one up. But he can't make it, and it's Tim Nolan. Taken away by Miller on a good defensive move. Degbor has it. Back in his own end. Turns around, goes the other way. And that one's kicked out by Nick Rockwell. Murphy puts this to Pereira. And a great slide tackle from O'Brien. And a foul called. A great challenge. Just went a little too over the line. This one kicked on in. Connors gives this one away. Murphy kicks it forward. And they say it's over the touchline. This one kicked in. Now it's Cersei. And he's fouled and it'll be a answer ball. Will O'Brien will get ready to kick this one out. Lancers with five men up deep. Pereira heads this one straight up. Cersei looking for it and can't get it. A great move and the Lancers have an opportunity. Murphy can't get to it. And Pereira called for a foul here. So a free kick by Andrew Mara. Sam Jurgoy. Up to Nolan. Nolan shoots this one in deep. Houlihan with a great defensive play to get it out. One thing you can really see out of this team is, this, is the upperclassmen leadership. 14 players of the roster are juniors and seniors. You can see tonight. You have Coach Green telling his captains what to do, and then you have guys like Eben Degbor who knows exactly what to do in the back line. And the Lancers didn't miss a beat when they lost Danny Pereira. Demon Degbor slotted right into that. Was able to take over that back line in a commanding role. As the tonight's nightly geese flyover is brought to you by the National Geese Association of America and their proud partner with Norton High School Athletic Fields. Devin Connors will get ready to kick this one. This one kicked up forward. And it'll be taken by Aiden Doyle. Doyle has this one near the touchline right to Bukowski and an easy save. Murphy puts this one over to the touchline and the Lancers. Concede a throw to Barrington. This one 
O'Brien can't get it forward. Now we'll turn it to Will. Now the O'Briens are chasing him down. This one over to Tim Nolan. The captain tries to play it back to Brown. And Brown with a good move. Pushes this one forward. It's Rockwell! And a great save by Robbie Bukowski. Herrera can't get up to it. And this one will be kicked out by O'Brien. This one crossed over inside the 18. The shot. Bukowski is going to have to work for it. Offside is called. Here in the 50, in the 49th minute of play. Just eight minutes ago, Ian Pereira putting the Lancers up 1-0 here on the board on an absolute screamer 13 seconds in. Lancers, 12 shots on net tonight. One here in the second half. Only one's on target. Which was Pereira's goal. So it'll be Lerner. Aiden Lerner in here. The Lancer student section. Giving him recognition here. As it's Sullivan up to Pereira. Pereira making moves here. Gliding up forward. Beats one defender. Puts it up to Murphy. Can't get it. Ran into a brick wall. That's number 25, Andrew Morrow. We've been saying his name a lot tonight. He's getting a lot of touches here. This one, Sullivan pitches it forward. And that can't work as it'll go out and be a goal kick. That's a foul called on Norton here inside the six. This one shot forward. Louis Barrington trying to push it over to Tim Nolan on the corner. Instead, they'll play it back and forward again. Now it's to Nolan, the captain on the far side. Rhode Island State champions trying to move it up, and this one's intercepted. Miller tried to find Pereira and couldn't do it. Lerner misses an opportunity there, but picked up by Sullivan. Sullivan up to Murphy. O'Brien forward and just missing Tony Searcy. 52nd minute here, 1 0 Norton. In a low scoring defensive affair tonight. And Lerner falling down there, and they'll get a foul on Barrington. You can definitely see tonight from the Lancers, their defensive play these first Three and a half games this year has been absolutely outstanding when he fakes out Pereira there. Now it'll be Nolan to bring it up as it'll be O'Brien that bites the dust. The Lancers very sound defensively as this one inside the box jumped on by Robbie Bukowski. The Lancers have been very sound defensively doing a fantastic job 
on not only preventing opportunities, but making sure they don't even start. How do we hoang kick this one up? Shioto kicks it out. Nearly missing the trainer on the far side as well as Coach Green. Here on the 53rd minute. It's Coach Green doing what he always does. Doing a fantastic job of leading the team from right outside the touchline. This one, O'Brien tripped up on the play. They're not going to call anything, and Murphy can't get an opportunity going there. So it'll be a kick here for Devin Connors. As Sean Murphy will get subbed in for here. It'll be Zach Lerner up front. And he'll get a rest. So an off a Norton defender and it'll be a Barrington throw. This one will be pitched up. Degborg walks on to that one. Right near the touchline, fighting for possession, able to beat the defender and clear it out up front to Lerner. Barrington will continue to press up. As uh, Zach Miller flying out of nowhere with a header. Doing a somersault at the ground as well for uh, style points as well. So Zach Miller heading the Norton Lancer gymnastics team here tonight. As it'll be Degbor, the big boot in deep. Pereira can't get ahead on it. Knocked in by Lerner, the shot. And that one's out of play. This one we brought up, Senich tries to cross it over. It doesn't work. The Lancer defense able to take it away. Werner charging towards that one. And that one will go out. And it'll be a Barrington throw. This one right outside the 18. Pass back the shot. Saved by Bukowski. So Rob Bukowski saves that one and boots it away. Making it look easy tonight on the back line. This one will be Nolan. Tries to cross it in, and a header out of nowhere from number 11, Aiden Doyle, coming out of right outside the 18, charging and beating his man, but heads it wide. It'll be Will O'Brien back into the game for Aiden Lerner. Here we go. Ryan Bukowski sets this one down. 
And gets ready to boot it in the 58th minute here. This one will be back to Houlihan. Sullivan. This one taken away. Neither team tonight has been able to... As that one kicked out of play almost into the stands. Neither team has really been able to gain a lot of momentum. It's been back and forth position all night long. One team hasn't been able to dominate possession. Like we've seen in other games. Like you viewers have seen in the other games. But all it takes is one goal. And this one up to Pereira. It's just as I say it. Pereira looking for a second of the night. He can't get it. Not even able to get a shot off. Houlihan has it. Gives this one away. Dagbord to Sullivan. This one over to Houlihan. Keeps it not inside the touchline. 1-0 on the board. This one will be thrown in here. Misenich. Has a man to cross to him, Bichetti. And he flounders to the ground. The ref obviously seeing that doesn't give him the call. And now this one. Pereira had a great run towards it. And it was just knocked out. Pereira. Tries to get it to Houlihan and it doesn't work. It's kicked out and it'll be... Looks like they'll give it a throw to Norton. Barrington though. None too happy about that call. This one to Houlihan. He'll make a move. And a foul's call. Free kick will be taken by Andrew Morrow. who's taken all the free kick duties tonight in his own half. As Bukowski will just grab this one up and he'll kick it away. We're in the final 20 minutes of the contest. 61st minute. One nil answers thanks to a goal by Ian Pereira assisted by Sean Murphy right out of the half. Manchester would obviously love some insurance with a second goal, but they also got to make sure they don't allow one. And that's the mindset of a soccer team. As soon as they score a goal, it's strictly into just don't allow another one. And Lance, that's what you can see the Lancers doing, playing very defensive in this last 18 minutes of the second half. We'll be Bukowski with this. This one will be kicked over. Harry Brown. Back to Eric Fitzgerald. Kicks this one forward. Sullivan. Up to O'Brien. Can't find Pereira. Back the other way we go again. Back and forth the action has been. The possession numbers right at 50-50. Right around 50-50 are both teams. And the Lanchers will get a free kick.
And with a lightning strike in the distance, we'll have a cancellation of the game here. We'll be put under post, we'll be put in a rain delay right now. And we'll be back in just a few moments. We'll try to provide you updates with possible, but right now there are lightning strikes in the area and we're under a weather delay here at Robert Adams Field. Hello folks, and we're sorry to say in the 63rd minute tonight, the game has been called off by Barrington. They have conceded to the Lancers. The Lancers will be one nothing victors here tonight thanks to a Ian Pereira goal in the 41st minute right out of the half. So the final stats, the Lancers, 13 shots, eight of them were on target. One yellow card to even Degbor in the 16th minute, and no red cards. On the other side, for the Barrington Eagles, they had... 10 shots, seven of them were on target, seven saves by Robbie Bukowski, who was the, one of the star players tonight for the Lancers. So the Lancers will play their next few games against TVL opponents as Barrington will go back to their Rhode Island League schedule. So the Lancers improved to 4-0-0 on the year. Barrington losing their first game in quite some time as they drop to 2-1-1. So for Jack Buck and behind the camera, I'm Javik Blake. Again, folks, we apologize no interviews or anything after the game tonight. It has been called off due to lightning in the 63rd minute with the Lancers winning this one 1-0.